Carrie Canary Quilts and this is another edition of What's in the Box. One of my favorite things to do is to open my quilt and fabric related mail and share it with you um, and see and let you see what I get um, and see if there's anything that you're interested in or give you an idea of what fabric subscriptions are like, give you an idea what the sew sampler subscription is like, but that's what I've got today. Sew sampler for August and two of my fabric subscriptions for Fat Quarter Shop. I was hoping I'd have more today. I am part of the Sleuth Block of the Month at JK Quilts and I, it's been shipped but I haven't gotten it yet and I'm so excited to get it. Um, I talked about it once before and it is a Block of the Month where they write a little mystery, you build a quilt block and at the end of the 10 months your quilt will solve the mystery for you. And I just think it sounds like so much fun and I can't wait to get it. So I was hoping I could share that with you today, but when it comes in, I'll let you know. I will have links to that down below because that is still open if you want to check it out. Um, but I also am going to pull in a, a couple other things that I've opened. A couple, maybe one. Um, I've already opened. I needed to check them out. So I'll share those with you also. Um, let you know what I got going on here. It's uh, kind of exciting. But anyway, I would also like to call out one of my subscribers at Jackie DeWine9718. I wanted to get the numbers correct. She has used the thanks button that's right below here next to the subscribe button, next to the like button right down here. It's just a small way to appreciate YouTube creators um, like a tip. And I've had it there for about a year and I've never advertised it, but she has used it I think on three videos now and I just wanted to say thank you so much. That is so appreciative. I am so appreciative of how you feel about my comment or my content. Ah, I'm getting all tongue-tied here about my content and she also leaves comments also. So I just want to call her out and say thank you for thanking me. <laughs> anyway, you can also hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below if you want to see more of this um, and all the other fun stuff I got coming up, all the projects. I've just ended a few. I'm going to be starting some and um, we can have some fun here. But anyway, let's open my packages. I'm down here at my desk. I haven't put my machine away because I've been using it a lot and I don't want to go up and down with it right now. So we're opening it with my machine up. Let's start with this one, the Fat Quarter Shop, and see what we got in here. Oh, it's holiday. It's my holiday of the month club. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. This will be my last holiday Fat Quarter Club of the month. I am switching up my clubs. I think I've got enough holiday fabric, so. I am going to go with their, um, I think it's their Moda color. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it right here, what it's called. And you get a, you get a different colors every month. So you will get a bunch of shades of yellow that are prints. And um, I just think I'll probably utilize the, those more than I might my Holiday of the Month Club now. But I've loved it. I love getting the fabrics in this. I just have a lot of them. So I'm moving on, but we've got another Christmas one. I know I'm gonna miss out on a Halloween, but that's okay. I got a lot of Halloween fabric too. But ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, this is really pretty. I love, I mostly love Christmas and Halloween fabrics. And I don't get those all year round. So if they just had a club that was just those two themes, yeah, I'd still be in this, but the other themes I didn't utilize a lot. So there you go. My last holiday of the Fat Quarter Club. This is August, 2023. It's called The Magic of Christmas. And it shows you all the fabrics here and it gives you all the reorder numbers if you like one particular fabric. So I don't have anything right now that I can think of that I would do with this, but it's certainly going to go into my holiday stash. So look forward to my other club in the future. I think it just got shipped. So my next box opening will probably have that in there. And I have no idea what this is. 
Another one of my Fat Quarter subscriptions. Oh, my batik. Earth Meets Sky Batik. Oh, I love getting my batiks. Like, if you've heard me before, I've been in a batik club for about 10 years. I love it. And I used to do a lot of art quilts. I don't do them so much anymore, but I want to get back into them. And that was a reason that I started getting into the batik club. But it is what I use in my state blocks. So it works out really well right now. And I have a lot of I have a lot in my stash. So Earth Meets Sky, they do the same thing here. They show you all the fabrics with their uh, item numbers, I guess, if that's what you want to call them, if you want to reorder anything. But, oh, I don't know. It's just every month with batiks, it's just so, 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 so pretty. Look at the teal. Kind of has a fall flavor to it. Cinnamon. It's really pretty. They do. They really do. Fat Quarter Shop does a very good job of curating these. And these bundles are available. You do not have to be a part of the club to get just this bundle. Um, so I will have these bundles linked down below, both of these. The Holiday and the Fat, or the Batik Fat Quarter bundles. If you're interested, if you have a project and you're like, that would be perfect for it, there you go. So those are my two Fat Quarter subscriptions and the last of my holiday. And so let's open the Sew Sampler. Let's put that over here. The Golden Hour. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Let me work through this to find my little key guide here to everything that's in the box. So this is, doesn't, usually it says it's August. Um, August Sew Sampler. And number one, we usually get the fabrics out. And this is a Sunray Day in the Life. Sunray Day in the Life Fat Quarter Bundle. This is a value of $27. Top up your creative juices with a serene set of prints and colors in Day in the Life by Echo Park for Riley Blake Designs. From shell prints to evening blues, these calming hues are embellished with flowers, stripes, scattered dots, and even rainbows. Indulge in this specially selected set of nine fat quarters during your next sewing session. Ooh, it looks pretty. If I can get it open, goodness gracious. <gasps> Look at that stripe. Ooh, got a couple. Oh, that's pretty. Now let's see. Let's just... Instead of working with that knot, let's just take it off. Ooh, look. Oh, those are so pretty. I love those colors. Rainbows, flowers, polka dots, small print flowers. Oh, a grid pattern and a stripe. That is gorgeous. Nine fat quarters. That is very generous. So... I wonder what the pattern's going to be. I always wonder when they send fabrics like this, what pattern they design for it. <clears throat> so next is, is this what it is? Yep, this is what it is. I'm pretty sure, yep. Scribbles Petite Tearaway Quilting Paper. Meander past straight line quilting with the tearaway quilting paper from Urban Elements, designed to help quilters add flair to their finished quilts with printed pantographs at home. This paper can be modified to any size by following the instructions. The Scribbles Petite design is their most popular edge-to-edge -edge design, and basting spray and edge-to-edge uh, -edge design and basting spray and a shortened stitch length is recommended to quilt with this paper. That's what I do anyway. So what is this all about? Just place, quilt, and tear away. Well, yeah, they have you do a smaller stitch, um, but a smaller stitch is like, I mean, if you're free motion quilting, it's kind of going at the rate of your hands and your foot. So, oh goodness. Oh, that's big. I was expecting like eight and a half sheets. Wow. 
Well, that's awesome if you've never, um, if you're nervous about doing quilting, this would, yep, oh, it's, it's long sheets, that's what it is. And then you would, it looks like, you would just overlap these. Well, they're really long, so you would overlap them, it looks like, like that. That's hard to see, but you would overlap them, and then you'd follow these lines for a meander. Interesting. So if you're, I guess, kind of nervous about getting started with free motion quilting, this would be a good way to do it. I'll have to give it a try and see how it works. I don't have any issues with uh, meandering. I do it all the time. I like to free motion quilt. I kind of enjoy it. Um, so I'll do this. I'll meander a lot of my things and then sometimes I'll do other things, but this looks like a great way to get started. I know there's a lot of people out there who are nervous about free motion quilting, but I don't think there should be anything to be nervous about. It's a lot of fun. Um, it says spray the back side of a single tearaway sheet with basting of adhesive. Choose the placement for the tearaway sheet on your quilt. Place and smooth onto the basting quilt, basted quilt. Reposition the tearaway sheet as needed. So they recommend that you quilt down in between these dotted lines is what it looks like. All right, that's very interesting. I'll have to give it a try, see what it's actually like. Or maybe I'll give it to someone who needs a little extra help at getting started. That probably is the best thing. Getting started to free motion quilt. But I like to free motion quilt. I it's it's kind of a de-stressor for me. You have to you kind of just get to do what you want and go where you want and I think it's fun. All right, next thing is oh, a little tiny ruler, creative grids. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that little thing. Creative grids, one and a half inch square ruler. I wonder if we're going to use this in the pattern. This is a value of $8.99. Sorry, this is a value of $13. So this is $8.99. The, the smallest things are oftentimes the sweetest. The one and a half inch square ruler from Creative Grid is truly is tiny but mighty on your cutting mat. Use it to fussy cut mini motifs, square up tiny half square triangles, and trim down little scraps. That is freaking adorable. Although, whew, I could get that lost pretty fast. Look at that thing. That is tiny. I'd have to keep it in the bag and keep it somewhere so I don't lose it. That is just so cute. All right. Let's see if we use that. And it's Creative Grids, which I'm still thinking about switching. Uh, next thing is the Sunray quilt pattern. These are usually a $9.98 value. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that. The Sunray quilt pattern is, a, is good as gold. The exclusive fat quarter friendly quilt design easily shines in any fabric palette, but it sparkles when combined with the Day in the Life fat quarter bundle included in this month's box. The one and a half inch square ruler also comes in handy for this pattern for a solid gold sewing experience. I like that when everything kind of ties together. And then you can maybe even use this to quilt that. So, there are finishing kits available, which is probably the um, navy blue and the background in this border and the binding. Um, so, I like their finishing kits. I've ordered them on several occasions for quilts that I want to do for my sew sampler quilts. So, that is a $10 value. What else do we have? Oh, I just used... The last time they sent Mettler thread, I used it um, on my spooky sampler quilt from last year. I just got it quilted two days ago. 
and I used their Mettler white thread and I loved it. I just went right along. I didn't break or anything. So I was really happy with it. So that is a great thing to have in my drawer full of threads. And this is a $3.50 value. Rest easy with this Mettler 50 weight thread spool in the hue of Harbor. Deep blue blends well with the darker prints and backgrounds. With 109 yards on each spool, this thread will keep your sewing machine happily humming along. Wow, that is really cool. I'm very happy with that too because I just used that thread and I was really happy with the thread. And then this month, and I should pull out my other month, our pressed flower is a rose and that is gorgeous. And that is, you can buy these and that is a $5 value. And I believe, I don't know if they still have them, but they may have the fabric kits for these. And it the um, it's Sugarberry by Bunny Hill Designs for Moda Fabrics is the fabrics that they're using. I'm not using their fabrics. I'm using Fat Quarter Bundles. And I believe it's one of the springtime ones for my holiday of the month. All right. These are mine that I've done so far. And I've never done their block of the month that it comes in the sew sampler, but I like this pressed flowers one. It's really pretty. So there, next month I'll show you my rose. Well, that was a great box. I'm really happy with that box. That was really cool. So let me put this away. I got a couple other things to show you real quick. All oh, those fab fabrics are scrumptious and the pattern is beautiful. Very happy with this box. Good, good box. All right, so the other day I did open a box. Um, okay, first I'm gonna tell you, my daughter asked for a quilt, <laughs> and I'm gonna throw up the pattern. I designed it in EQ8. She didn't know what she wanted until she came down and she saw some of my quilts from the Simple Whatnots last year, and she's like, I like those fabrics and that type of quilt, and I said, that's kind of Civil War era, and so she started look up, looking up Civil War era, and she's like, yeah, I like that kind of stuff, so I started designing, sending her different iterations of the design, and we came up with that design, and I'm going to use all the fabrics that my mom and I had left over from the Simple Whatnots. Look at all this fabric. It's, there's a ton of it. So I'm doing that next year. I will have a link to that down below. Simple Whatnots 12, 13? Can't remember which number it is, but I'll have it down below. And this is her background that she's chosen, this navy blue. And I'm going to paper piece everything you saw in there because I want it to be very precise and I want it to be especially that sashing. <laughs> yes, she wanted sashing like that. And I'm not complaining because my daughter has never asked me for a quilt, so I will do anything she wants. But that sashing is uh, tiny. It's very small. So there's the paper piecing for the sashing. And uh, you can see that it's not very big. And I think I might have 47 of these that I have to do. Uh, my mom said she would help me when she comes down, which is great. But um, this is her background, so I ordered this. And I needed so much background that I just, it came on a bolt. So I've got that coming up and I'll share that with you as I go along. Maybe I'll write the pattern as I go along and have it at the end. Um, but you can also see the paper, paper piecing process and see how these gorgeous fabrics, oh, I love these right as rain fabrics from Kim Deal. Henry Glass Fabrics, I think, is um, who she's with. They're just so pretty. So I've got all those, I'm doing that, but that is something I opened recently and it was the only thing that came in the box. So I didn't save it for a box opening. All right, I didn't open this either. <laughs> this one's scaring me, but you're gonna be surprised with something that scares me how much I'm gonna have invested into this. The Queen of Diamonds, um, I got this a couple months ago and I'm telling you it scares me. But I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it very well because I have a lot of faith that I can get this done. It came with all the pieces you need, the acrylic templates, the paper, 
we got um, the paper pieces for this is an English paper piece and that's why I'm scared so it comes with all these paper pieces this is the fabrics for the first three months here's the book um, I don't think we're getting anything else I think all the months are in here I think we're getting the fabrics for the next months yes here's month one month two um, there's more paper that's the backing so the backing came with it month one month two I might oh here's another month because I I did take it out and look at it and then I think that's the background possibly oh it's the border around all of these so I did open this I am going to I said I was going to do a quilt along with it but I am I'm going to do a quilt along it's just I need to get started but there's a big but I also waited because I came across at Pink Door Fabrics a Halloween Queen of Diamonds called Queen of Ween using the Pretty Creepy Fabrics by Cory Dantini. And the only difference is you need to get these big, this big hexagon for like some of these big cutouts here. That's the only difference between this and this and the fabrics and I got the fabrics oh my god they were so cute I just was like what do I do what do I do what do I do I love this quilt I don't know much about English paper piecing I do have confidence in myself <laughs> I have a lot invested in this and I've always wanted to use Cory Dantini fabrics I've just never had anything that's come up for me to use and this was beautiful look at this I love it oh my gosh it's Halloween the the things that are in it here that you cut out these fussy cuts are so cute and I just was like I've, I've got to have this in my life this is a quilt I've got to have in my life I got to figure this out so I was waiting for this to come in because it was a pre-order and they've got all the fabrics they've done it for you I'll have a link to this down below it is expensive uh, the whole thing's expensive Queen of Hearts is going to be expensive also Queen of Diamonds sorry with Tula Pink fabrics it's going to be expensive but I mean look at this quilt it's just gorgeous oh look at that it's so cute oh I love this I just love this I just had to do it so you will see a quilt along that's going to be Tula Pink and Cory Dantini. Oh, look at this pumpkin. I mean, come on, I'm dying over here. I'm just dying over this fabric. So I did open this without doing a box opening. Um, I will, if you stick with me here, I will get out a schedule of what I'm going to be doing. I will be doing both, like month one, and uh, together with Queen of Diamonds and this. So you can see how they're both going to look. Two very different types of fabrics. Oh, goodness. Okay, i got to get that folded up. Two very different type of types of fabrics in the same quilt pattern. So... I will let you know when this is going to get started hopefully soon but that's kind of what I've been waiting for is for this to come in this right here let me just pull it out of the bag so you can see it better there it is oh that is so pretty I'm just a I'm a sucker for color and Halloween and this hits both of those so anyway there you go there's a couple of things I didn't open for you I've already opened and some projects I'm going to be sharing with you if you want to do them with me I will have links to all of this down below um, maybe you have this and you haven't started it either or you have um, wanted to let you know this is available and um, 
I'll have that link down below. So hit the subscribe button, notification bell. You'll get notified when I utilize all my fabrics I opened today and do my projects, my daughter's quilt and queen of diamonds and queen of ween. Oh, I'm getting really excited. I've got other projects coming up too that I'm going to share with you soon. But anyway, thank you so much to everybody who supports me and everybody who watches and everybody who leaves such nice comments. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.